beautiful, but deadly. These are some of the most dangerous snakes on Earth. They're usually found slithering in rural areas of sub-Saharan Africa. But here at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, they're thankfully behind reinforced glass. So we've got things like green mambas, black mambas, cobras, and also things like this puff adder down here. It's a big one, isn't it? They bite and kill a lot of people in sub-Saharan Africa. So these are really one of the most dangerous snakes in Africa. And the problem is that they're very well camouflaged. They don't move a lot, so they're just sitting there on the ground. And then if people walk near them or step on them, they obviously get bitten by the snake. And how quickly would that kill you? Well, it could kill you in, in a number of hours, but more, more likely over a day or two. My name's Rob Harrison. Our research is to try and improve the treatment of snake bite to reduce the number of deaths and the number of disfigurements that are happening every year. It's a neglected problem. People just don't understand that 100,000 people are dying from snake bite every year. So maybe 500,000 people are suffering severe disfigurement as a result of snake bite. This is an extremely dangerous but crucial job. The puff adder you can see there can bite you very quickly. Scientists are about to extract the venom from the snake's fangs and use that to try and develop new antivenoms. Go back, everybody. The race is on to find new treatments. Stocks of what experts call the most effective antivenom in sub-Saharan Africa, Fab Afrique, will expire in June, and there's no more coming. It's an expensive process. Venom is taken from snakes like this, and tiny amounts are given to horses or sheep, which create antibodies to fight the poison, and that is used in the antivenom. Ready? Yeah. Scientists here do this almost every day. It's a very risky business. That's why we're wearing these face masks, because uh, spitting cobras can spit venom from three, four metres away with great accuracy aiming for the eyes. You know, most of the people who are bitten by snakes are poor and they live in rural areas. And so they don't constitute a very profitable market. So although there are other products coming on stream, um, the quality is not as high. Experts from around the world are meeting in Switzerland today to try and find a solution to help deal with the devastation caused by these killer creatures. Tulip Mazumdar, BBC News, Liverpool.